So in the episode, I marked out a section of my quilt, but what I'm gonna do is talk about how to mark the whole quilt or how to continue that on. Now, when you're working with stencils, the first and most important thing is picking out a stencil. Now, what you wanna look for is that it's a continuous line stencil for machine quilting. So this particular stencil, you'll see if you trace your finger along, it's going to have the whole design. What you don't wanna pick out is a hand quilting stencil. It'll happen, right? You're there, you think it looks fun, but it's not meant to quilt in one continual line and it's gonna give you a headache. So continuous line stencil, and you wanna look for one that has a design that you wanna learn. So if you wanna learn leaves, great. This one's gonna help you get the idea of the shape. If you wanna learn feathers, find a great feather stencil. Really, you can find a stencil for almost anything that you wanna work on. Borders, blocks, backgrounds and then pay attention to the scale or the size of the design. You can't easily change how big or small it is, so make sure you're comfortable with quilting it the size that it is. What that means is I don't want a really tiny stencil if I don't really love the person I'm quilting it for. I might get a bigger one in that example. But whatever it is, find one that you like, and especially this stencil is really fun because it's a screen printed one, so it, I can't worry about bending it or creasing it. Then you need to get your marking tools. Now, the marking tools you use completely depends on your preference. It's 100% up to you. You might find that you like the chalk pencils. These are great for darker fabrics, especially with your traditional stencils, the one that has the slots marked out. Or you can use a water-soluble pen. This is gonna be perfect for your lighter fabrics so that you can see the line. But for this particular type of stencil, what I'm gonna use is a pounce pad. Now, this is my absolute favorite way to mark stencils because it's so quick and it's easy to remove. The one thing I do wanna say about it is it doesn't make a very, very dark line. So if you want something really precise to follow, maybe try your chalk pencil. But what I'm gonna do is first take my stencil and align it where I want it to go. And since it's a continuous line stencil, perfect. I just have to find my previously marked area, line it up so that it connects to that, and then get ready to mark. Now, the pounce pad is an awesome thing because it has chalk in it, so all my chalk is right here. And right before I mark my stencil, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a tap. That's gonna kinda whew, put the chalk everywhere it needs to go. And then holding the stencil carefully, I'm going to rub that chalk along the whole stencil. Now what I'm not doing is moving the stencil, or at least trying not to, and trying to make sure that I get all those lines marked. Now if I don't get them all marked, it's gonna be fine, but for the most part, that's what we're going for. There we go. Now you can see that it's continuous right here. Now along the lighter fabrics, maybe that chalk's not gonna show up as much, but I'm okay with that. I'm gonna use that as an area to wing it or just go for it and we'll see how that works. And then let's go ahead and mark one more section, sliding the quilt. I can tell here's my one, so I'm gonna lay it where I need it to go. And if you're worried that's gonna move, you can use some painter's tape to hold it in place. Just make sure you don't put that tape where you already have marked your quilt because the chalk could come up. So again, tapping it, rubbing it, now this is gonna be a little more time consuming because you have to mark it, but maybe it saves you time because you're not stressed out about the machine quilting part. Whatever it takes to make it enjoyable for you. I'm gonna move that out, nice and marked, and I'm gonna keep going, working my way around. So basically what I'm doing here is just kind of marking it as I go. I'm marking a couple sections, go ahead and quilting, and then marking again. The reason I think this is the best way to do it is if you start feeling comfortable with the design, maybe you can quilt it without marking it. But for those of you that just got a little nervous when I said that, you can mark out the whole thing before you start. Now the thing is with this chalk, to remove it, you just kind of rub it off. So if you mark the whole thing, just be careful because you could rub off some of that chalk inadvertently. You might want to think about using that water soluble marker because it will stick there until you get it wet and remove it. Ultimately, do whatever makes it easier for you because once it's marked, that means it's time to quilt. And we know the quilting is the best part. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Now be sure to check out the links below for more info on how to stencil your quilts.